All right, so these are I got I had some dental uh, issues, so if, sorry for my speech being a little slurred. Got some gauze and had a tooth pull. Anyways, these are my picks for UFC 163. Sorry for them coming up a little late. Um, anyways, uh, in Brazil, Jose Aldo versus uh, the Korean Zombie. Here we go. So the first fight uh, we have uh, Andrade versus uh, Bristol Morunde. Uh I feel that Andrade should be able to. Knock on Morunde in the first round. That's what I picked, and that's what I'm sticking with. Oliveira versus Barroso. I have Oliveira. I'm going to go quickly through the first fights uh, by KO in the second round. My last event, I did decent. Uh, I forget. Let's see. Before I actually get into this event, I normally do a recap. Sorry about that. Forgot to do that. I went 8 of 12 with 3 perfect. Oh, I did okay. Not great, you know. Um... There are some that I changed, I think, last minute that caused it. Otherwise, I would have hit, went 9 to 12. Anyways, my picks are uh, Oliveira by KO in the second round. Uh, I got Ronnie Yaya by submission. It's a tough one. I could see, you know, Compton come through, but I doubt it. I think Yaya if he get, eventually gets it to where he wants it on the ground and, and submits him. Um, McCall versus Santos. I see uh, McCall easily beating Santos with good footwork and... Uh, just unanimous decision. I feel he'll he you know he'll make it. Santos will make maybe get a good fight, but uh, McCall will. He's just uh, at a different level in his uh, career right now. Sergio Marais, uh He looked really good in the weigh-ins. I thought, and so did Magny. But uh, Magny's got the height, and that should you know that can pose a little bit of problems. But I think it's not that big of a difference. You know, he's six two, six to six feet, and Marais six feet, and Magni six two. He's got more reach, obviously. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, I think Marais eventually will get it to the ground as well and uh, submit Magni in the second round. Magni's only loss, I think, was by submission, or one of his only losses is by submission, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, he's eight and one, and it was by submission. Lost to uh, Andrew Trace. Anyways, um. In the women's fight, uh, we have Nunez versus Gaff. Um, Amanda Nunez versus Sheila Gaff. This is a tough one. I'm, you know, picking the women's fight. I think Gaff uh, beats her up for three rounds and wins the decision. Um, Nunez, I think, fights admirably and does a good job. But uh, in the end, I think you know, the judges give it to Gaff. Uh, Vinny Magalhaes versus uh, Anthony Peroche. Um I think that, uh, let's see, the records, oh, I used to list the records, that sucks, anyways, Vinny Magdalas is, uh, I think, going to take it to the ground, uh, take him on the ground right away, and submit him, probably in the first or second round, um, I don't think Peroche can, uh, stop Magdalas from taking him down, and, uh, that's just what I think for that fight. Lineker versus Maria, I think, uh, Lineker wins by KO. And the second round is what I got. Talos Lightless for Tom Watson. I was going back and forth over this. Um, I want to think that Talos Lightless could, you know, submit Watson, get him tired, and, and get it on the ground and submit him in the second or third round. But uh, I could also see, I also thought, you know, Watson could knock him out right away. I don't know. Uh, I feel like... Uh, one of these, in, you know, Brazilian versus foreigners matchups uh, isn't going to go the Brazilian's way, and it might be this one. So I took Watson by KO in the first round, but I easily could see they submitting them like in the second, which is what I had originally. Uh, Ferreira versus Santos. I think Santos is going to surprise people. Um, I think he could even win this fight. But that, yeah, that being said, at this stage in his career, I think Ferreira is just a little bit more polished and. Um, Wins by decision, I think, uh, but uh, Santos puts up a good fight, I think, and it might be even split decision. But uh, the Machida versus Phil Davis fight. Once again, I think Machida is just going to use his footwork, stay away from Davis's shots, and because uh, Davis is obviously going to want to try to take him down and pound him, I'm assuming this is his game plan, and get close and make it an ugly fight. And uh, I think Machida is just going to be more technical and get out of the way. Um, I that being said, if Davis fights like to the best of his abilities and Machida is having a weird off night, Davis could win, you know, easily you know, knock Machida out and, you know, be a big upset. But uh, 
I don't think so in Brazil. I think Machida's going to be ready. He, he's probably been wanting to fight for a while. I think he's just uh, going to basically help point him up, kickbox him, like, talk, you know, whatever Machida does, he always wins by decision, you know, just being a better technical fighter. And the Jose Aldo fight, uh, <laughs> I don't think Jung has a chance, like anybody, everybody else, I really just think Aldo is just the <laughs> way better of a fighter, and um, he's going to finish this for sure in under five rounds, I don't know if it's going to be the third, but I think he wins either by a stoppage from leg kicks, or, uh, you know, take just stoppage from punches, and, you know, from beating on him, or uh, knocks him out, just cold, uh, but, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be <laughs> fun to watch, in a sense, Aldo beat up on him, I'm, I'm, but uh, I'm predicting Aldo to massacre Jung on this. Um, and, you know, Jung can take a beating, but he's going to take one, and uh, he's going to uh, take away the worst beating I think he's ever took. And uh, especially in Brazil, Aldo is going to be pumped, and uh, he's going to take this personally. Um, because I don't think Chong really has any business in there with him. And uh, I might even stop it before the third, but uh, definitely before five rounds, this doesn't go the whole way. And those have been my picks for UFC 163. The next event in Milwaukee, I will actually be there. I will give my put my uh, predictions out a lot earlier. Um, I have a cousin that's now in Duke Rufus' uh, camp, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And, uh, yeah, so... Mm. Excited for that fight, and excited to see a lot of our. I'm from Milwaukee. I was born there, so uh, even I was raised in South America half my life, and born in Milwaukee. So uh, got a lot of pride from both places, um, and uh, I just can't wait to see these guys fight. You know, got all these uh, great fights <laughs> next week, and uh, stay tuned on my YouTube and uh, add my channel. Sub Severus, thanks.